Hi there, happy Tuesday. Today's subject is shitty situations and what to do about them. <laughs> We're doing it, right? Suffering is a needed part of the human experience. It happens to all of us. Trying to avoid all of negative things is just wasted energy and just makes things hurt even more when they do happen to us because we assumed we had it covered and all of those things. That is a video for another day, my friend, because it has its own stuff in it. So bring it back to if you try to avoid it or not, let's come back to the shitty situation. So when stuff happens, it hurts us. When negative things happen, when we are hurt or disappointed or, you know, whatever that is, whatever your your flavor of negative situations is, I think, <laughs> um, the important part in order to move forward so that it doesn't linger so that it doesn't turn into blame so that it doesn't turn into other things that can make our suffering prolonged how do we minimize the suffering from really shitty situations and here is the answer to that so first it's about releasing blame so that you can get to the heart of the matter Keeping in mind, you cannot change anybody else. You can't change weather. You can't change anything else in the world. You can only change yourself. And so looking at what is the lesson after the situation happened, looking at the repercussions and looking at our own decisions and journey that led up to and through and after the situation, what's the lesson? Now, yes, sometimes the lesson is that sometimes life just sucks, like really terrible weather happens and there was nothing I could do about that. I didn't see it coming, nobody saw it coming, right? Sometimes that's the lesson as well. So we're not talking about, and I wanna be very clear about this. We are not talking about victim blaming. We are not talking about victim blaming. What we are talking about is victim empowering. By looking at the situation and learning the lesson, no matter what it is, if it's in ourselves, if it's about someone or something else, but learning the lesson, embodying the lesson, and deciding to carry the lesson with us into the future and leave the event in the past. There may be some cleanup needed depending on what the situation is, but we're talking in generalities here. When stuff goes down, when negative stuff goes down, when we are hurt, when we feel bad, whatever that negative bad feeling is, pause, take a look at the entire situation and what are the lessons I can learn from this? That I could take this lesson into the future with me and leave the event itself and everything that's attached to it in the past, you you sucked the marrow out of it. You got the goodies, you got the good part, you got the positive part from it. Let's keep that and let go of the actual event itself. Now, obviously this is easier said than done, but I encourage you and invite you to play with this idea. Come up with some things, some negativities, some shitty situations that have happened to you and even from long, long ago, and take a look at them. What is the yummy? What is the lesson? What can you learn from that situation so that you can bring the lesson into the future with you and leave the event in the past? And start practicing this. And the more that you practice, the more you'll be able to do it closer and closer to the actual event happening so that even the event itself can be a little bit more tolerable. Again, this is way easier said than done. If you have a situation and you're struggling to find the lesson, struggling to find how to find the lesson, and maybe are looking for a system or you know a, a way in which to process these things to find the lesson, let me know. Reach out to my email, comment here, do what you need to do and let me know. Let me help you find the lesson so that you can finally release the event and move forward more empowered and less victimized by it. 
regardless of what it is. Again, we're not talking about victim blaming, we're talking about victim empowering. And I can tell you from personal experience that man, it feels so much better to be able to let the event go and just carry the lesson into the future. It feels so much better as the victim to be able to find the positivity and hold on to that and carry that with me forward, letting the rest go. Again, if you need help with this, fully understand, reach out, I'm here. Happy Tuesday, I'll see you next week.